Hello, my most amazing artists. Today we're going to be adding on to our sculptures to make them look even more realistic. So if you have a colored pencil, a pencil, or a crayon, we'll be adding those details on today. But first, you might have a few spots that you need to touch up with your paint. So take a small paintbrush and go over those spots with the paint. Make sure you're just touching up those spots. If you do need to do a whole second layer of that color, that's okay. But make sure that you are letting it dry before you glue anything on today. Yes we will be gluing some things on to our sculptures. All right, so after I touch up with the paint, make sure I wash my paintbrush in between colors, never in the paint tray mixing those colors. Then I'm gonna go ahead and touch up some other spots on this pencil here. If you have a dark color that you cannot cover, you can add white on top. That will make that spot lighter, and then you'll be able to go back over top when it dries and add that color that it's supposed to be. After you do that, you're gonna let it dry. But while you're letting it dry, you can work on things like the labels and things like the ferrule of your pencil. Remember that ferrule is the word for the shiny silver part of the pencil. That's what holds the eraser to the wood. That part we're going to use some aluminum foil or metal to make today. You already have strips of aluminum foil in your basket. They might not fit your sculpture depending on if it's smaller or bigger than mine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it around to test it out, then I'm gonna take scissors and cut it down to size, making sure that I still hold it flat. If I pick up that aluminum foil, it might wrinkle and crinkle and not look like the ferrule of the pencil anymore. So I'm making sure that I keep it nice and flat, cut it to size, and wrap it around my pencil. Now to make it stick, I'm gonna need glue. So I twist it open, lefty loosey, righty tighty to close, twist it open, shake that glue down, and my glue rule is dot, dot, not a lot. I put a few dots of glue, wrap it around, and hold it for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, after I do that, I'm gonna make some indentations on my pencil by using a pencil to make those marks. When I make those marks with my pencil, the purpose is not to write on it, but to actually indent into the aluminum foil. By doing that, it'll make those marks similar to the actual ferrule of a real pencil. After I do that, I have the option to make a label. Now on a real pencil, there is usually a number two. If you would like to do that, there is black paper and silver and gold Sharpies that you can use to make that too, or maybe you wanna make a name for your pencil. You could do that with the Sharpies and the black paper. Then I'm gonna cut it out and I'll glue it onto my pencil. The reason I don't write right on my pencil is because the Sharpie would not work on the plaster. It would actually make the plaster just come right off and the paint would scrape off. So I'm making sure that I do it on a piece of paper and then glue it on, holding it for 10 seconds. After I hold it down, then I can think about what else I'm going to make. If I didn't have a regular pencil, say I had a colored pencil or a crayon, I would look at what kind of labels I could make for those. Usually colored pencils have a name on the side of them, but if you notice, if I try to write that name in Sharpie, it will not work, so I have to make a label for it. You could make your label any shape you want. I'm gonna make it just a rectangle, long rectangle. You make that label, you can glue it on, hold it down for 10 seconds, and then we're going to have to to let them dry before we can do anything else to our pencils. You can cut out different things. Say if you're making a crayon, you might wanna cut the stripes out and glue them on. Same thing for the label. You could make an oval to make your crayon label. It could be whatever brand name you want. You could do Crayola, or you could make your own name on there and glue it on just like a real crayon. Totally up to you. Whatever you want to add onto your sculpture today, have an awesome time, artist, and make sure to clean up when you're done.